Hey friends, it's Chef Rama here. So I'm just hanging out with my cup of coffee today because it's National Coffee Day, by the way. And um, I'm just gonna add to that, it's National Coffee Day and Apple Pie Day. Is there an Apple Pie Day? I know there's a pie day, but I'm not sure about the Apple Pie Day. Anyways, I just thought this would be a perfect combo for today's recipe, which is mini apple pies. Okay, let me move this on the side because I get too excited and I um, talk with my hands all over the place, right? So let's chat. Um, every Wednesday I'm here at 11 a.m. with my favorite appliances, all the Power Excel products. Um, today we're using actually the Power Excel um, air fryer grill, which I think you've seen me use a couple of times before, but there's endless recipes that you can make in this. And today, like I said, we are using the bake function and we're making mini apple pies. Let me show you these cute little ramekins I'll be baking in. Um, you can find these anywhere, really, any store, Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, Williams, Sonoma. I think I've had these for 15 years. I'm just telling you, they're so solid and they're so versatile. I've done um, flourless chocolate cakes in here, apple pies, um, soups, French onion soup, and the list goes on, okay? Uh, so let's quickly talk about all the apples that you might be having at home, or if you're like me, you go apple picking, which by the way, we're going soon, we haven't been yet, okay? Who here has been apple picking this season? I want you guys to comment um, in the comments so I see who here has been apple picking this season. It's probably one of my favorite things but sometimes you come home with an excess of apples and come on, how many raw apples can you really eat? So I thought of you guys and I think this apple pie recipe will make a dent in that bowl of apples, okay? It will make a huge dent. Um, this recipe, again, it's it has that wow factor without being super expensive or without being uh, really hard, right? Like just hard cooking. It's easy cooking every day with the Power Excel products, okay? Um, so I'm, I always have that in mind and I'm always thinking about you guys and how you can get delicious food on the table with it being easy, not hard, right? Okay, Yvette. Hey, Yvette. Hey, girl. How are you? Not yet, but probably in the next few weeks. Yvette, where do you go? I want to know because I know you're local. I know you're in Jersey, so where do you go? And Yvette, when you get those apples, you need to make this, okay? So let's go ahead and start. I have already cubed up um, one apple. A little quick chef tip. You guys know I'm a pro professional chef, mama of three. You can go ahead and just squeeze in some orange juice or lemon juice so your apples don't go brown. So you can actually do this a couple of hours before you make these mini apple pies or when your kids are cutting and um, washing the apples, you can do this as well. I keep the skin on, chef's choice. I love that extra fiber. You can peel your apples if you want, okay? So I have my apples in here. To this, I'm gonna add my pumpkin pie spice uh, powder or you can do a mixture of cinnamon and nutmeg. Up to you. Just a little bit of that in there, okay? This smells so good. Apples and orange and spices. A little bit of vanilla extract right there, okay? And now you probably might ask, what am I doing next, next and why flour? Flour, okay? So we're gonna put a little bit of flour into this apple mixture because what this does, it actually keeps the shape of your apples when you bake them without them getting really mushy like applesauce. That's a quick little tip, okay? You wanna mix this all together, and last but not least, we're gonna add our brown sugar. You can do white sugar. Um, I'm just get my spoon. You can do maple syrup. I've done maple syrup, um, and I think that would be great. So, so your brown sugar, and all these flavors are amazing. Let me get to my questions. Um, Nora, that's a great question. Does it change flavor if you put orange juice? The recipe actually does call for orange juice, by the way. Honestly, when it's all baked together, you don't really taste the citrus. 
I use orange because I wanted that extra sweetness, but if you did lemon, for example, when it's all baked together, you don't really taste that tart um, flavor. It's just a little bit of lemon juice goes a long way on apples and pears. It's a great question. Uh, Yvette, Alstead Farms. Thank you for sharing from my local New Jerseyans. Yvette just shared, Alstead Farms is a great place for apple picking um, or Warwick. Awesome. Okay, so you guys know I love the chef tips. My pleasure, Nora. This is what I'm here for. Last but not least, a little bit of orange zest for that really nice kind of bright flavor. I don't know if you've noticed, but I love um, cooking with a little bit of citrus. I think it brightens up every single dish. So wherever I can sneak in some orange or lemon or lime, I will. Okay, so mix that all together. Let me just show you, I could probably eat this raw. I mean, the raw flour part, maybe it could skip, but I could probably eat this raw. Yes, Yvette, I put in vanilla already. So we have the apples, vanilla, cinnamon, a little bit of flour, orange juice, and orange zest. Okay, mix that around. Easy, easy, easy. You wanna go ahead and preheat your PowerXL air fryer grill to 400 degrees. I'm not gonna do that right this second because it's gonna be a little loud. Um, it's not gonna be loud, but it's gonna take away from me chatting with you. So I'll do that in a bit, okay? Mix that and you've got your ramekin. If you want to grease it a, a little bit with cooking spray or some butter, you can uh, just a little bit. Just put this around me. I don't need any extra oil in my hair <laughs> right now. But we just need, I mean, we really don't even need my, that much at all. It's just so the apples don't stick, right? Because with these, um, with this grill, we're gonna basically use no added oil or butter so we can make sure that we're eating decadent food, but also not really unhealthy and loaded with calories, right? Okay, so I put that there, right here into my ramekin. And now this is what I want you guys to pay attention to. Another chef hack. So this is store-bought pie dough. What every grocery store right now has store-bought pie dough. Usually buy it frozen, right? And when it, it comes out in two sheets, you know, for your large pies, I don't want you to be making fresh pie dough for this. I truly think that's not um, cooking smarter. I think it's cooking harder. I also don't think it's easy cooking every day. I think it's harder cooking every day. So don't buy store-bought pie dough for this, okay? And it comes in this paper, right? I want you to leave the paper, just leave it. I actually used half already, it comes in a big circle, okay? Leave the paper so you don't get your counters, pay attention, you don't get your counters dirty. You just basically are gonna take a rolling pin, you're gonna dust your pie crust with a little bit of flour, and you're actually gonna get this pie dough a little thinner. Oh wait, I wanted to show you a real life issue that happens at times, and I love this. Sometimes when you open up your pie dough, it's got cracks, right? Like right here. Don't worry. Make sure that you take your pie dough a couple of hours um, before you use it. When you roll it with flour, it all comes back together. People will think you spent hours making homemade pie dough, which I've done before, but for this, I don't think it's necessary. And I roll it on this plastic sheet, so now I don't have to clean up anything in my kitchen. You know those like chunks of flour? I don't need to do that at all. Roll it just to get a little thinner, just a little thinner. And now I'm gonna get a cookie cutter or a, a bowl, and I want to cut out a larger circle than this uh, ramekin, okay? So come on, do not tell me that wasn't gold right now to just roll it on the plastic piece the pie dough comes in from the box. So this isn't a cookie cutter, but this is a, a bowl that's the perfect size, and I don't want you to be buying anything extra. All I want you to purchase is obviously the PowerXL air fryer grill if you don't have it yet, because this is a game changer. Um, I just want you to take a paring knife and just cut around the bowl. I mean, I could press harder. I'll be really honest with you guys. I could press how harder, but I, I find it so therapeutic right now to take the tip of this uh, knife and just cut around the bowl. It's fun. You know, it's a little arts and crafts. 
Okay, so I have a piece right now. Look at that, my almost perfect circle. And I wanna make sure that everybody can see this really well, or I can always come a little closer. Give me a second, I'm gonna put that there. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna place this on top of your ramekin, and you're just gonna pinch down on the border. You see that? You see my fingers? Pinch down on the border of this ramekin, pinch the pie dough to the ramekin. This is gonna look so cute and so fancy. And this what, took me, I don't know, I can't even see the time. Nine, I mean, I talked, right? So five minutes to make? Just saying, five minutes to make, okay? Let me show you step one right now, which is two steps. Look how cute this looks, it's like a little baby. Look at that, but I'm not done. I'm just showing you these mini apple pies. And now what we're gonna do is you wanna make a little X on this so you get a little bit of steam popping out of the apple pies when you bake them. Come on, this looks like it's out of the kid's storybook. I forget which one, but they talk about pies a lot. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take a little bit of sugar and you wanna sprinkle it on your pie. And you're gonna bake these in the air fryer grill for 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Again, 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes, okay? Okay, let me, ooh, Michelle's saying she needs to go apple picking. Michelle, total gold. I know, right? It's like golden nuggets just all the time. Um, Oh my gosh, Emily, you, Emily, you've been coming up with some great questions every week and I remember you, so um, you do. Any tips on what to do with the leftover pie crust that isn't big enough to use? You're in luck because I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna actually be posting a recipe because that was a problem I thought many people had um, on my personal Instagram page, wanna be a chef later on this week sometime. So, but I'll tell you right now what I do. Uh, let me get back to the apple pies. So here it is, the magic of videos, but look at those. I can't really tilt them too much, but look at that. Look at that, 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. They're beautiful. They're nice and cooled already, okay? And let me show you how I would serve it. So I'm gonna put this in. So again, I've already baked these ahead of time. They're not warm, hence I'm not using an oven mitt right now, just to tell you. But we're gonna pretend, I just don't wanna turn it on because I wanna make sure you guys can hear me and I'll bake that off in a bit. So let me show you how I, how I would serve this. Let me get a, I think I should get a small plate. Yeah, let me get a small little plate. This is a cute little plate I have. I'm gonna take my apple pie put it on a plate. Oh my gosh, my mouth is salivating. I bought vanilla ice cream for my kids to enjoy for dessert tonight. Just think. Okay. I am grabbing, I am grabbing, no joke, like seriously guys, this is a true story. I'm going to come closer here and I think I have to push this down. I'm sorry because I really need you to see this. Um, my kids love this coconut whipped cream, like they just love it better than uh, regular whipped cream. Again, in this air fryer grill, it took only 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. Oh, let me see if I can open it up. <laughs> We're gonna open this up and I'm going to serve this with a little whipped cream, just a little. Yeah, right, just a little. And I'm going to get my microplane, sorry for that little noise, and I'm going to zest just a little bit of, um, it's hard to see in the camera right now, but just a little bit of orange zest. Okay, there we go. I just took a big chunk so you can see out look 
at this. Look at this, look at this. This is amazing. Look at that. I mean, come on. How good does this look? Beautiful, right? Okay, I'm gonna take a bite with, with you guys. I'm sorry in advance that I'm making you guys hopefully not eat um, dessert for lunch today. But this and a cup of coffee is absolute heaven. Okay, I'm going in guys, I'm going in. Oh my gosh, the apples. I mean, a power cell air fryer grill, what it does is that it circulates hair so it, air so it doesn't really ever um, kind of dry out your food. It stays nice and moist and these apples are perfectly cooked in there. Mmm. Wow. I'm telling you, the vanilla and the orange combo with the apples, that is so good. I think I'm going to take my own bad advice and eat dessert for lunch. I'm just saying. Okay. Michelle says, you've never had zest. Um, it's so good. You have to try it. It's one of those like uh, fancy, effortless garnishes. Okay. So Emily, I want to get back to your uh, question. Hold on. One more bite here. And the leftover pie crust. So what I like to do is I like to actually cut it into strips. So what you can do is you can re-roll it back in a bowl. Let me show you really quickly. You can re-roll it. This is my circle, my extra circle. I'll keep that aside in case I make more. But you can re-roll this. And then I like to either get cookie cutters if I have them or just kind of freehand with a knife and cut strips or any shapes. And I put some brown sugar on there with a little bit of melted butter and I bake them for about four to five minutes at 400 degrees. And then I've got this crispy pie dough that I use for on top of ice cream or oatmeal as a garnish. Or if you want it savory, you can actually sprinkle on some Parmesan cheese, bake them off and use them as croutons for soup because it's soup season, right? That's one thing. The other thing that I do is when I re-roll it, again, I will sometimes cut it into long strips, twist them, and do those like cheese twists. You know what I mean? Put like a little bit of cheddar cheese on black pepper, put it on a parchment paper, put it in my air fryer grill, and bake it off at 400 for five minutes. So use that concept and play around with it because it's an easy way not to waste your pie dough. Okay. Um, no other questions right now. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. If you're watching this on replay, no question is a stupid question. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me or baking with me today. We made mini apple pies in the air fryer grill, and I will see you guys next Wednesday at 11 a.m. Bye.